Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're going to talk about the brand new low-cost 7th generation iPad. So Apple announced this new iPad at their September 10th event. It's an extremely minor update. They actually quickly went through it at the keynote. So let's talk about it just really quickly. So the biggest thing with this new iPad is it's basically an iPad Air. It has a bigger screen just like the iPad Air. It now has the smart keyboard connector and it still has Apple Pencil support. That was on the sixth generation. But yeah, they bumped up the screen to 10.2 inches and it's also the same quality of screen as you'll get on the iPad Air. We still have the A10 Fusion chip, which I really wish Apple would have at least bumped up a little bit. That's the same we had on the sixth generation iPad. That chip is still pretty good, but it is a couple of years old now, but I guess Apple did that to keep the cost low. Now Apple really, really, really is targeting education with this iPad. So a low cost of 329, you have the smart keyboard connector, and you also have the Apple Pencil support. And of course, you'll get the new iPad OS with this new iPad as well. They're basically trying to give you the most value possible for the cheapest amount possible. So this new iPad is gonna come in silver, space gray, and gold. A 32 gig model is the base, and you can go up to 128 gigs. It'd be nice, again, if Apple started at 64 gigs, but again, they're trying to keep the cost as low as possible. 329 is a great price for this thing, for the Wi-Fi model, and it's 459 if you want the Wi-Fi and cellular. Now you can get an education store discount if you are eligible for that, and that brings the price down to about $300. And then if you wanted to, you could even trade in a previous iPad and get that price even lower. And another big thing too with the trade-ins, Apple's really pushing that this year because this brand new iPad is made from 100% recycled aluminum for the first time ever. And this new iPad will be available on the 30th. So something interesting I actually noticed is when you go to Apple's website and you try to order this iPad, it will not get here till the middle of October. So I'm kind of wondering, is a lot of people actually buying this thing? Because that is the longest shipping time for any of these new products that have been announced. And by the way, I am seriously, seriously, seriously considering picking up this brand new iPad. It'll be replacing my iPad Mini 2, which is long overdue to be replaced. And that iPad that I got right now is officially unsupported. So I am in the market for a new iPad. I really do want to try to use this new iPad for school. I think that'd be pretty nice. I see a lot of people doing it and I've always wanted to try it out. So there may or may not be an iPad coming to the channel here in the future, but you know if there is, there will be tons of new videos about it. But anyways guys, real minor update for this new iPad. Just want to make this quick video letting you know everything that you need to know. But anyways guys, I will catch you all in the next video.